So today we're going to talk about another free plugin. Uh, it's a very interesting one for several reasons. We're talking about Geist Lite by F Expansion. Did I already mention that it was absolutely free? Super C. So Geist Lite by F Expansion. Free to download, but what is it? Well, as they themselves, F Expansion, say, it is a sampling slicing drum sequencer. That's a mouthful, but it is pretty accurate though. Now it's not called Geist Lite for nothing, it is a light version of a program called Geist, which is a pretty advanced feature rich tool, which coincidentally is also a sampling slicing drum sequencer. Go figure. Now by the way, Geist itself has already been discontinued and has been replaced by another program called Geist 2, but Geist Lite still exists and has now been made available as a free download. Now I will leave a link in the description which will take you directly to the webpage of Guys Lite. Keep in mind that if you want to download it you need to have an account with F Expansion. so if you don't have one already you need to create one. Um, and then you need to go to your, uh, your account and it should be pretty obvious how to download it. Now it's available for both Windows and Mac in different formats so you should be fine either way. Now once you've downloaded it this is what it looks like. And at first glance, you can immediately see that it, it looks a bit older, let me put it like that. And that's to be expected because it is an older plugin. Now, I was gonna make a little song or a beat just to demonstrate the capabilities of Guy's Light. Uh, and I actually did, but I ended up not using a lot of this plugin. So it's not really representative of what it can do. But uh, I'm still gonna let you listen to it. Let's go. Now, I think you get the idea, but the only thing I actually used in this beat was this. That's all I used from Geist Lite. Now let's just take a closer look at the interface because I think you might take away a little bit more from that. Now first let me say that the interface isn't really super user friendly. Uh, it's a bit complex, especially in the context of this day and age where everything seems to be made uh, increasingly more simplified and more user friendly. So yeah, it's, it's not that bad, but it, again it's an older plugin so it's not really surprising. But I'm just saying there is a little bit of a learning curve. Now on the left you can see this is the browser. You can use that to browse your computer with, of course. Um, it also comes with some factory content. So let's first take a look at uh, hits. Now these are just some, some one shots. So for example, uh, we have some kick drum sounds or some snares. Okay, let's go up one level. Um, let's skip loops for now. I'm gonna circle back to that later. There is some pun in there, isn't there? Circle back to loops? Isn't that funny? No? Okay. Okay, now let's go to presets. Now presets are made up of engines, patterns and kits. Still a bit confusing to me, but the way I understand it is that engines are made up of different patterns. A pattern is a certain sequence which uses a kit. And a kit is just a collection of different drum sounds. Make sense? Okay, now let's open an engine. Let's just pick any of them. Okay, now first of all here you can select any of the 12 patterns which a engine potentially consists out of. Um, and it uses a kit 
which is organized onto these 16 pads. Now, of course, you can also trigger these pads by your MIDI keyboard. And by the way, any pad can have up to eight different layers, which is pretty cool. Okay, now let's play around a little bit with this engine and these patterns, and let's just see what happens. Okay, now as you can hear, it all sounds a little bit old school, but that's all good. Now, of course, you can also create your own patterns from scratch. So that goes something like this. Now, this will be pretty familiar to most of us. Okay. Um. Okay, let's see what this is. Well, you get the idea. But then on top of that, you have a lot of extra editing capability. So if we open up one of these uh, triangles, uh, you can see that, for example, we can do something to the velocity of any of these uh, events uh, individually. Okay, you can change the velocity. You can also do something to the panning. Repeats, you can have repeats. So something like this. Okay, and basically you can do something to all of these parameters you see here. So yeah, that's pretty uh, dope. That's pretty dope. Finally, I use that word in a sentence. Feels pretty good. Yeah. Now maybe the most interesting part of this plugin is the loop section and the slicing, etc. So let's go to loops. And here, this is a, a list of different... Um, uh, loops that this plugin comes with, which have already been pre-sliced and already have been organized onto the pads and into uh, patterns. So let's take a few examples. Now that's pretty cool, but of course you can also bring in your own loops. So I think I have a loop here. Now let's bring in, let's add this loop and let's see how it handles this. Yeah, I believe the original BPM was not 156. I think it was something like 78 or so. Now let's listen again. That's more like it. Now, because classify was enabled, it has also tried to uh, classify all the different slices. So for example, this slice is definitely a kick drum sound and it has classified it as a kick drum. This sound is definitely a snare drum sound and it has classified it as a snare. So that's pretty cool. Now, occasionally it gets it wrong, but then of course you can correct it manually. Now, it has also already automatically organized uh, these slices onto the pads. And now of course I can also play them with my MIDI keyboard. Um, and also if I now click done, it will also organize it into a pattern. So that is pretty dope. So that's it for kits and patterns and engines. As you can see, we are also on the pattern page, but this thing has more pages. Now the scene page and the song page are not available in this version of, uh, of, of Geist. Uh, pad layers. Uh, I think I already mentioned that each pad can have up to eight different layers. Now here you can you can edit all the different layers individually. So that's pretty cool. 
we have a layer mixer which is also not available in this version pad mixer well it does exactly what it what it says so you can mix the different pads you can also add an effect unfortunately in this version only one effect then we have the engine mixer now in this version you only get one engine and also you can add one effect um, we have a global mixer and finally, we have the sampler, which is just, I would say, a pretty standard sampler. One nice thing about it is that it can sample itself. So if you have a pattern of some kind, then you can play it and record it simultaneously. And then you can chop it up again. So that's pretty nice. So that is it. That is, that is you know, the interface of Geist Lite. Okay, so what do I think of this plugin? Well, let me start by saying, not sure if I mentioned this before, but... It is absolutely free. But still, do I think you should download it? Well, to be honest, in this case, I do have some mixed feelings. Because on the one hand, uh, you know, if you look at Geist, so the full version of Geist, I mean, even though I've never worked with it, but from what I've seen, and even from what I'm seeing in the light version, uh, it seems pretty obvious to me that Geist was a pretty cool, very advanced, um, sampling slicing drum sequencer and guys light has inherited so to speak a lot of those cool features you know so the sampling the slicing the editing editing capabilities are really amazing so even though the interface looks a little bit old-fashioned i mean it's safe to say that guys light has a lot of really cool features and from that perspective alone it might well be one of the best free drum plugins out there. However, having said that, there is one reason why I personally will probably not be using this plugin again. And I know this is personal, some of you may not mind about this, but for me, it is kind of a deal breaker. And it's this. So, Geist Lite does not allow me to send the outputs of the different pads to my DAW individually. You only get one stereo output and everything that's coming from Guy's Light is going through that stereo output, which is extremely limiting. I need to be able, okay, I want to be able to control anything that is coming from any plugin within my DAW with the controls of my DAW. So for example, let's say that one of the kick drum sounds of Geist is too loud. I want to be able to control that, to control the volume of that particular kick drum sound with a control, with a slider probably, in my DAW, but I can't, because if I do, then everything in Geist will become louder or quieter. Let's say that I want to apply an effect on one of the sounds in Geist. I can't, because if I do, then everything in Geist will be affected by that effect. You know, so that makes it extremely limiting and again some of you may not mind about this i guess it depends on how you're used to working but for me it makes it kind of useless on the other hand again it does have some really great features you know so that's why i have some mixed feelings about this plugin you know what you do what you want to do with this plugin me well, I'm going to leave it on my computer for now, just because it's so good. And you never know, I may have some uses for it still. But to be honest, probably I'm not going to be using it. So that's all for now about Guy's Light. Um, go check it out for yourself and let me know what you think, because I'm very curious as to what you think of this plugin. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.